Difference between I love you and love you. Sometimes we overheard people saying I love you and love you too but what does it really mean? In this video I will show you the difference between I love you and love you too. I love you versus love you. I love you and love you are phrases that convey some emotional attachment to the person, or in some cases pets, things or a food, in subject. There is a subtle difference between them however, and that difference we will discuss. I love you is commonly said to the person you love as a way of reaffirming their emotional weight to your being. This is said to your significant others, family, relatives and sometimes, even friends. Most of the times, I love you is being said in order for one to hopefully start a meaningful relationship with another. Sometimes, it is also being used to express your affection towards someone or something, be it your parents, siblings and even pets. Love you is more of an informal and casual way of saying the essentially men I love you, however this is commonly used as a way to express gratitude or even affection among friends without having it carry a romantic connotation. Like saying to your girlfriends love you after you were comforted, or something like that. People must use caution in using this phrase, however, as it can mislead someone who might have feelings for the person saying it. Before going any further please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this channel. Difference between I love you and love you As said earlier, I love you and love you essentially means the same thing. However I love you is usually reserved for your significant other and your parents, while love you is commonly used towards friends and siblings and pets. Love you can also be said to your significant other or your parents however it is usually in moments where the atmosphere is light. However, the two phrases can cause confusion between two persons especially if one has feelings for the other. That is why I love you and love you are not to be used lightly and insensitively. There is nothing quite like hearing the words I love you from someone, however you need to read between the lines to know if there is a romantic intent behind the phrase or not. I love you and love you are phrases used to convey an emotional attachment to a certain someone or something. Ever since I was little boy, I dreamed of the day the love of my life would confess my love to someone, fiery, and passionate love for her. I pictured rose petals scattered on the floor, dimly lit candles lining the room, and a colorful arrangement of flowers for her in my hands as we would look into each other's eyes, slowly lean in closer, and say those three magical words. The meaning behind I love you. There is no denying that there is an all-powerful meaning to love. It's a feeling and an emotion we naturally crave as social human beings. Again. The phrase I love you justifies the involvement of you and the other person. It not only means that there is love for you, but it also means that the love for you is for me, creating emotional intimacy. By starting the phrase with I, you take ownership and affirm your feelings of love. You create a deeply emotional tie between you and the other person you are saying it to. The message you send esteems clear intent, and that in itself is so powerful. I love you also comes from a deep and genuine place in your heart. Finding this place in your heart does not come easy for most people. It takes patience, compassion, understanding and courage to dig deeper. When we do this, we not only learn more about the other person, but we find out more about ourselves as well. Why it is hard for us to say I love you? Have you ever tried saying I love you to yourself in the mirror? Did you find it difficult? That's because it is. Saying I love you takes vulnerability. We live in a world where we are taught that vulnerability is a bad thing. We are told that we should always protect ourselves from love because the heartbreak that comes with it is unbearable. But without vulnerability, there is no meaning to love. To be vulnerable with one another entails an open heart. It means we have to be open to not only opportunities around us, but to the hearts of other people as well. Brene Brown, a research professor at the University of Houston, says that if we allow ourselves to be deeply vulnerable to the people around us, we can live a much happier life and become more fulfilled with our interactions with one another. Saying I love you could come more easily if we allow ourselves to become vulnerable with one another. But vulnerability also takes courage. If we can let ourselves welcome and embrace the concept of vulnerability, we can reach a breakthrough in our relationships with others and begin to love with our fullest potential. Love is what you make of it. Love can be unconditional. Love can be romantic. Knowing the difference between the phrases love you and I love you can ultimately determine our path of love. 
The difference between the two might seem small at first glance since the only thing separating the two phrases is the letter I. But adding the I to love changes the meaning drastically. We begin to take responsibility for love and start to live the truth behind its emotional meaning. It might be hard to transition from saying love you to I love you in the beginning. But remember that it is all about the journey, not a finish line. Challenge yourself to rise above and put meaningful value to the relationships that mean the most to you in your life. At the end love can be a beautiful thing or a sad thing. Please do not be afraid to be vulnerable to someone you love even when you can get hurt, but it will worth it in the long run. Please as always support me by sharing, liking and subscribing this channel. Thank for watching.